shares of Peloton sharply lower on a larger than expected quarterly loss. Weak guidance. The stock's down more than 30 percent in one week, down 65 percent this year, 90 percent from its year high. A lack of sales, a lack of capital putting pressure on the company. My next guest says one way to turn things around is to ditch the hardware. Let's bring in Anisha Sherman. She's a senior analyst covering apparel and specialty retail at Bernstein. Anisha, I hear this from some people sometimes, but I can't shake the feeling that hardware is like their iPhone. I mean, yeah, sure, the, the, the services, the subscriptions are great, but in that business, they're competing against Apple, Amazon, et cetera, uh, people who have a lot of cash. Yes, and cash flow. I heard your last guest talking about tech stocks being rich in cash. This is not one of them, clearly. Um, yeah, cash flow has been an issue for them, but the biggest issue with cash flow is the hardware inventory. They have $1.4 million of inventory they're sitting on, and they're trying to sell it through to release some of that cash flow. And, and that's really the challenge is they have to store that, they have to try to sell it through and try to make some margin on it. Um, whereas the subscriber model is an asset light model. It's much easier to grow, particularly internationally. You don't have those last mile delivery costs. You don't have the difficulty of getting inventory across borders and with this current supply chain. And you don't have the issue of return inventory that's unsaleable and that you have to take impairments on, which is exactly what they've done this quarter. Um, and furthermore, that's what differentiates Peloton. It's not the world's best bike, um, the hardware itself, but it is an engaging experience, the content, the platform, the instructors, you know, even in an environment like this, arguably the worst quarter, they've had churn below 1%. And their user engagement in terms of workouts per month is higher than it was pre-COVID. It's the platform and the content um, that makes this, makes this sticky and makes this business model work, not necessarily the hardware. So in other words, you're saying that if you came to my house and took my Peloton bike, I would continue to subscribe. It's not the hardware that makes this sticky. I don't know. I mean, I, I think that's without the bike as a differentiator, what's their moat? What's to keep their instructors from going to Amazon or to Apple uh, or Amazon and Apple from hiring better instructors? So there are a number of ways they could do this. What they're doing at the moment is not getting rid of hardware, but rather slashing the price of hardware and therefore reducing the barriers to entry and expanding the TAM of people that would be interested in picking up a Peloton bike. But that's the price of entry into the ecosystem. And what, what makes it sticky is the subs. It's the subscription, it's the platform, it's the experience. I think the end, the sort of, um, the end case of this is just getting rid of hardware entirely, um, where the subscription is what keeps you hooked. And that's the, you know, the experience, the in-game experience, the community, the instructors and so on that makes the experience engaging, uh, not necessarily having the bike or the treadmill at home. I was surprised to see in the release this morning that unaided awareness of the app is 4% in the United States. 4% of people are aware that there even is a Peloton app that doesn't include hardware. So there's huge TAM here that they just haven't touched yet, and that can be a huge vehicle for growth. So when you say getting rid of the hardware, what does that mean? I mean, I, I assume they should sell it, not just let it wither away until it's not worth anything. <laughs> No, certainly not. And, and I don't think this is something they would actually do. This was a thought experiment that we were running and saying, what if they did this? I mean, it would run at a higher multiple. It would be an asset light business. It would be a capital light business. It would be a lot easier to grow. I think what they will do is not this extreme version, but more just continuing to cut the price, trying to sell through the 1.4 million of inventory that they have, and then try to grow in a more asset light way, especially internationally with digital first rather than hardware first. Yeah, I don't know about the asset light thing. It's a great thought experiment though. In a way it reminds me of eBay versus Amazon, eBay being the asset light one. Uh, thank you.